this stuff. Just in case we run into anybody in the streets, we will know how to be able to help them. So first we're gonna talk about our money. Then we will talk about our coins, how to recognize our coins. And then we will talk about how to be able to go into the bank and be able to handle your own money or to the store. I'll, I'll try to cover everything, okay? So first, the way you identify your money is by the way it's full. Now, Borough Institute has a certain way how we teach the students how to fold their money. It doesn't mean you automatically have to do it that way. I usually tell people, if you have a different way to fold your money, do it however you feel most comfortable. And how is it easier for you to be able to recognize it, okay? But this is the techniques how we teach it. Okay, so first, we're gonna do is grab our dollar. Our dollar, we do not fold. The reason why we don't fold a dollar is because it's the last change that they need to provide back to us. So we need it exactly the same. So you put the dollar to the side. Now, does it matter what side do I fold? What do you guys think? No, why? Exactly, because the person cannot see it. If the person can't see the bill, it doesn't matter if we flip it in the side of the face or in the side of the house, right? It doesn't matter because the person can't see it. What matters is how you fold it to recognize that bill, okay? So the dollar we do not fold. Now I want you guys to grab your $5 bill. And your $5 bill, you're gonna fold it in half. Doesn't matter what size, just fold it in half. Like that, exactly. Like a little sandwich, fold it in half. If you don't, if you don't know, look at somebody next to you. Yes, like that. Okay, we got it. Okay, now our ten dollar bill. We are also going to fold it in half, but the long way, like the hot dog. Like the hot dog. Fold it in half with the long, like a hot dog. Okay? So long, like a hot dog. The red. Okay? And at 20, we're going to fold it in half, like the $5, and then we're going to do another fold. So we're gonna do two folds, okay? And half like the five, and do one more fold again. Exactly, like that. Okay, yes, like that. Okay. I, I can understand this is what probably the person's carrying, but how do you know when they're giving you back the change? We will talk about that, okay. Okay. And now there's two type of bills I didn't provide for you guys. Which ones are they? Exactly. Why is it that I didn't provide it to you guys? Why do you guys think? Most of us don't carry that kind. And not only that, but when you go to a store, it's a little bit more difficult for the cashier to give you all this change back, right? So I usually recommend don't carry no bills higher than a 20 it can make it more difficult on you, okay? So if I go to the store and I'm gonna buy something that costs $9, what bill am I gonna use? $10. $10, correct. 